Breaking news, breaking news, UFC 249, scheduled for April 18th, is going to have to go on without the services of Habib Nurmagomedov, who will not be facing off against Tony Ferguson because he is currently trapped in Russia. And I'm going to explain why this is all Dana White's fault. As you've entered the sports opinion log here on Lex Anderson World, I'm said person. And if you're down with all things UFC and MMA, make sure you're subscribing to the channel, pressing the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. And on your way back down, like this video and drop a comment below, letting me know where you stand on this matter. Shout out to my sister, Ali P. Dana White, tap out. I went with the comical shirt being the sports fashion icon that I am because, you know, when you watch a sitcom and it looks like things are just so funny and going absolutely horribly wrong that you're like, why are they going to try to force this issue? Why are they going to try to force this matter? And time and time again, that is what Dana White has been doing, trying to force his hand come hell or high water to make UFC 249 happen. And it may or may not happen, but we now know for sure emphatically that Habib is back in Russia. He's in his country of Dagestan. And this is all Dana White's fault because when he was training over in California, where we already know that the USA is not sanctioning or having any fights at all, how Dana White was trumpeting on social media and the fucking nationwide sports leader, which licks his boots and kisses his ass, that there will be a fight, there will be a card, there will be a main event, blah, blah, bullshit. Even though we're currently in the era of the coronavirus, COVID-19, thanks to another idiot, number 45, where in the world could they have it? Because factually and actually the entire world is under quarantine. Every time you turn on the news, there's something breaking out about the death toll out there. So where would this fight be held? But of course, here's Dana White doo, 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 on social media. We're going to have a fight. I'm not going to reveal where it's going to be yet, but the fight will go on. So Habib left California to go out to UAE, which is Abu Dhabi. And of course, they said that they're going to be closing off their borders. So what does he do? He goes back to Dagestan in Russia. And what do they do? They now close their borders. So there you have it. Not one, two, three, four, or five. Habib, Tony Ferguson. It's not happening. Pull it off the table. They're saying Justin Gaethje, but nothing's been confirmed. Nothing is official yet. Just give up on the goddamn card, Dana White. It don't fucking matter no more. I know you're trying to squeeze that 60 to $70 from the hardworking people, the few hardworking people that actually have fucking jobs out here, but give it a fucking rest. The Nationwide Sports Leader already did an article about Habib and how devote a Muslim he is and his practice with Ramadan and how he needs at least 45 days post-Ramadan to recover and get his body back in shape to be a fighter. Because springtime, nothing's going on. We can hope for summer, but in terms of a fight, not happening. So there you have it. Maybe... We just shouldn't have Habib and Tony Ferguson. Just leave it be. I know it's going to be for the title. So why would Tony Ferguson want to take on Justin Gaethje? It makes no sense whatsoever. Just pull the whole card. Let me know what you're thinking, how you're feeling. Make sure you're dropping that comment below. And most and more importantly, subscribing to the channel, pressing the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Because even though the sports landscape is barren, your boy, Lex Anderson, will be standing here at the helm, front and center for any and all breaking news. Until next time, sports fans, particularly in the UFC MMA world, Lex Anderson, signing out.